Hi, my name is Well Mittens Meow. I decided to share my gold making uh, setup on my main server. And um, basically, I have a, currently 10 level 120 characters on my alliance characters. That's the most that I'm currently still working on a horde character, horde server as well. Um, but I want to kind of share exactly the setup I currently have right now. And it's the most success, you know, success for me in gold making. I make sure I have my um, different types of gold making. I, I have all my professions leveled up. I um, dabble in my uh, my garrisons and stuff like that. I make sure they're all leveled up. They all have level 3 garrisons. They all have the um, scribe quarters. They um, Certain ones have the tailoring buildings where some don't. You know, so I'm going to kind of break down exactly how I have it. And maybe it'll help you kind of like identify things. It kind of was an eye opener when, because um, I was doing things on just my profession. So like my, my good, quite, good, good, good example is my inscriptionist. I have two inscriptionists. So I only had two scribe quarters originally until Drizzling Rose came out. And thank you so much, Drizzling Rose. Shout out to you. Um, it was it put me to start thinking, like, why would I need multiple Skinners? Why would I need multiple Herbalists? Why would I need multiple Miners? So I kind of looked at my 10 characters, and I basically went through them, and I basically go, okay, I only need one Herbalist. So now I have my, uh, of course, I have my, uh, um, my, uh, I'm sorry, my Druid. She's my uh, Herbalist. And my, um, my deep, uh, Death Knight, she's, he's, she's my Miner. And then I have my uh, leather worker, which is, she's my skinner. You only need one of each. So then I'm like, okay, how else could I break this down? How else can I make gold? So I broke it down to where I have now six tailors. Only one's got tailoring maxed out, of course. The other five have tailoring just for the garrison uh, building. So you want to be able to get your hex reed cloth. So so you can make your hex reed bags that sell you know, I put them up, I put eight up just last week and they sold in a day. So it's not a lot of gold, but it's consistent gold. You get gold coming in and in different types of things. You know, my description is still makes gold. My jewel craft, although a little slow lately because unfortunately my server was merged with three other servers. Not happy. Um, so I have more competition now. So it's been an uh, eye opener. I'm trying to adjust things right now. Figuring out where I'm still making gold and what I can kind of expand on. Like my leather worker is she made over twenty five thousand gold, which is a lot for her. Usually, you know, it's throughout all my characters where I can still bring in over hundred and eighty thousand a gold week, hundred and eighty, hundred over two hundred thousand, almost two hundred thousand a week. Um, so I was surprised to see that in one day she brought in almost thirty four thousand, and it was uncanny gear. Go figure, people are loving her characters. So. Now, currently, I am currently expanding on that. So I kind of went in, got a bunch of expulsive, and I'm making more uncanny gear and getting more up on the auction house because people are not selling it right now. So you kind of have to watch your auction your, your auction, auction house to find out what is selling, what is lease. You know, kind of do your research. Find out, you know, where you could kind of jump in and onto a, a market that is kind of weak on your server. So that's what I kind of been doing. So I'm going to go ahead before I go any further off, off, off topic here. So like I said, I have six tailors. Five of them are just for hex reed cloth. I have my only one leather worker who makes the uh, burnished leather. I don't need any more than that. Of course, I make the three different types of the inscription bag, the, uh, um, oh gosh, I'm going to like on the name of them. But um, the, uh, you got the burnished leather bag. You have the... Um, Inscription bag and the mining bag don't sell, you know, but now that I have more competition, I haven't been selling them. But it's been 13 days ago, I sold this bag. It was nine days ago, I sold this one. And my, this one here was 20 days ago, which was my big seller. But as you can see, the market has dropped. I was selling up to over 1,400 gold, and now they're down to 900 gold. So it's a big eye opener, but I'm still making bringing in gold because this hasn't cost me any gold to make this. This is all in your, your, your garrison. I'm not buying anything, everything I'm doing myself. So back to my little spreadsheet here. So what I've decided to do, all the characters that are tailors catch the wolves. They capture the wolves for the barns. So they, of course, all my all 10 characters have a barn. 
So all six tailors get fur. Then the other four that are either my one leather worker, of course, she does leather. But my other ones that are the uh, herbalist, the miner, and the one that's both neck blacksmithing and engineering, I have them doing leather. I don't need a lot of leather, but of course I need a lot of fur for the uh, the uh, tailor buildings and stuff like that. And as well, you know, with the uh, garrison, you know, you're going to get a lot of fur. You're going to get a lot of um, uh, raw beast hide. Save it. Don't sell it. Don't. Because eventually, you go here, inside here, inside the building, this is the alliance one, of course. It's right here. This one, every once in a while, they show up here. There's a, the fur trader. There's the, the raw beast, the uh, leather trader. There's the ore trader. There's the um, herb trader. And then, of course, the uh, dust trader. But um, I pretty much only sell for, I only trade in my raw beast hide when I have a bunch of it. And usually I just go and sell it all because I'm going to get more. I'm going to get more from my barns. There's no reason to keep a big stock on me. There's not. So I traded in for the primal spirits, whether they turn them in. Then I go over here and I see this girl over here and I go and I buy out. Um, I buy a bunch of savage blood, which then I trade in to my, uh, um, the trading, the trading post here. And I get my, uh, little, uh, my little bags. So it's gold. You know, you want to keep the, you know, the fun gold coming in. And stuff like that. So you want to be able to get these these bags here. I know I haven't done it lately. I'm trying to save up a bunch, but here, right here, the, the bloody gold purse. Those are you can get a random uh, range from 49 gold up to 51 gold. You know, sometimes I've seen it go up to 100, but I think it's just counting two of them together. I've yet to figure that out because um, I heard some people say it's actually 100 gold, but I don't think it's 100 gold. I think it's the way it's capturing it, it's putting two uh, together, but it's something I can always research later. But anyway, so that's basically what I do. So um, you kind of want to look at your characters, find out, you know, like right now I only have one alchemist. I'm currently thinking about adding two more. I'm leveling up two more um, alliance characters currently. I have my uh, warlock and my warrior, which is my last two, actually three. I'm leveling up three because I also leveled up a... Um, a Void Elf? Is it a Void Elf? Yeah, Void Elf. A Void Elf uh, uh, Death Knight, just because, you know, we were. I got I got the expansion, I was able to, to do it, so I went ahead and did it. So I'm living up him as well, so I have three that I can actually turn into Alchemist. So that's something I need to think of, and I really need to work on and start leveling up, because I've been working on other care things. But I need to kind of grasp on that. Kind of, I think I need to kind of focus on the server that is currently making gold for me. Yes, I'm trying to build up my Horde side too, but it doesn't bring as much gold as my alliance side does. This is my main gold making. This is the one that brings in the gold that I buy my subscription with. Or if I decide to buy a, a certain pet on the on the um on the game store, in the game store, I, I might go on here and go, I know there's someone I still want to get. Um the shop here. I still want to get a couple mounts here. I still want to get this one. You know, so the stuff that I would like to get, but because I helped my sister out with um getting her good so I haven't been able to focus on that but it's something that you also could think of you could turn that into blizzard balance and buy you know buy some of these mounts and pets that you may not have to add to your, your um your uh, collection or just you know gift it out to friends and family like I do do that too because I also help my sister out with her subscription if she can't make enough gold and of course when my nephew decides to play I help him out as well so um you know that's basically what I do with my my gold, you know, so um, I try not to, you know, have anything come out of my pocket, you know, I'm trying to pay off other, you know, in my real life, I'm trying to pay off bills, not add to my bills, so it's kind of cool that they have this system where we can use our in-game gold to buy a WoW token for your game subscription or turn it into $15 for, um, for a Blizzard balance, so it's a good thing to think about, so that's basically what I do. Um, I think I covered everything. Um, of course, I do. Also, I forgot about my four, my engineers. I have four engineers. I have only one that's leveled up. The other three are just for sky golems. I've yet to really get cut, you know, get into that market. I'm kind of just slowly getting into it. Um, but once Shadowlands come out, I'm hoping to have a good amount of. Um, a sky golem set up to where I have a good amount, you know, a decent amount to have onto the auction house so that way um, sky golems are still being sold. Because I know whenever I do sell it, 
um, it, it sells in less than a week. And of course, my uh, um, one alchemist sells the uh, vial of the sands mount, and it, it sells within a week. So that's another one that I have a hard time keeping on the auction house. So, but think about it. It's a good thing to think about. Um, but oh, kind of also real quick, the reason why I have oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, ooh, look at that. And Kenny Garrett is sold. <laughs> so another thing with the uh, inscription building, the scribe building, scribe quarters. The reason why I have it, you don't have to have the profession to do this. So you go to your scribe, the regular scribe, and this card of omens. Every one of your characters that hives the scribe quarters can make these card of omens. You flip them, you have a chance of making, you get in a purple uh, card that could be up to 6,000 gold. And then most of them might be, you know, some silver, some copper, some gold and stuff like that. And some are blue that are like 100 gold and, you know, 500 gold and stuff like that. So I'm currently saving up my war paints right now. Currently at 2,000. I'm currently doing a test type thing. Although I kind of use them up on my one inscriptionist. But um, I kind of want to try to, I was kind of talking in my uh, Card of Omens uh, video previously. Um, I'll link that at the end of the uh, video. And I talked about how I am going to try to do a month long um, gather of the war paints. So all my um, all my characters currently are trying to make sure I have all the work orders going. I did kind of lose some time this week because of real life things. And of course, with the, um, the merging of the uh, servers, for some reason, all my work orders disappeared. Go figure. So I got my, I got the, uh, the ink back in my, uh, not, not the ink, what do you call it? Um, the stuff, the uh, pigments. I got it back in my, my, my bags. I didn't lose them, but I'd lost, they didn't have any on my, I'm pointing at the, the thing back on the They didn't have any orders available, which I know that I had them some, yeah, it should have been, all of them were empty. So I, I was eye open. I'm like, oh, I better get on here and go through all my characters and get their, get their uh, orders going again. So it was kind of an eye open. I started thinking that must have something to do with the merging of the servers. So no big deal. It's not a humongous thing. So that's my thing. So and I also real quick. Uh, I just happen to see my thing here. I also do my half hill farms, um, in Pandaria. I do them all for the um, mats mainly for the uh, living seal as well as the um. Uh, the uh, um, golden lotus herb that I need for my uh, um, panthers. So, because my jewel crafter does make the panthers. Um, so, anyway, that's what I do. I really think it's something you need to look at. Look at your characters, kind of get an idea. Of maybe you could do it. Um, and I bring in a good amount of gold. You know, I can kind of look real quick into my uh, thing. Of course, it's kind of slowed down. So, right here, I mean, total, I've brought in over 26 million, you know, profit wise, 16 million since I started gold making. But in the last 30 days, let me go to 30 days here. Woo, 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 woo. One week, one, two, one month. Let's go to month. So you can see I brought in over uh, 664000 in one month. Not a lot of gold. It's not like it's one of those big uh, gold makers that I, I am. But it's enough to buy a couple um, tokens when needed. Or because in this situation, my I was helping out my sister. And currently right now, I'm trying to uh, get my... Uh, no, I just went to the wrong place. Um, my... Uh, gold reserves back up so um that's something i'm trying to do i'm almost at a million right now on this on this server so i'm just trying to get a good little cushion again like i used to um i was basically down to two hundred thousand gold and i was like whoa okay i'm broke <laughs> so that's basically what i'm focusing on so i want to go into shadowlands with at least two million gold in in my in my bags so that way i'm not like i'm struggling to buy things if I need to buy things off the auction house and stuff like that so that's basically what I'm doing so I hope this helps out I hope um it might help people to um uh look at maybe their garrisons and stuff like that because a lot of people think the garrisons are boring but it, it is I mean sometimes I'll sit here but a lot of times I just want quiet too so um I don't mind coming here to do my auctions and stuff like that so anyway that's my way I that's my goal making setup um and I hope this helps out anyone that might be thinking about going into gold making or already doing gold making, but maybe there's something I'm doing that you're not doing. If not, you know, let me know. Maybe there's something you're doing that maybe might help me. Let me know in comments. That I'll, I'm open to suggestions. This is what works for me. Um, I enjoy it. I have fun logging on to the game. 
and it's what's important to me. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. It's already almost at 15 minutes. <laughs> And um, I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you be safe out there and I hope to see you at my next video. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you very much for um, watching my video.